hello everyone welcome to another episode crochet team with ng how 25 and you'll be with a learning obsessed youtube channel we are going to be doing today flower of life which looks like this at the base and looks like this at the back and we will be using yarn a creamy white yarn like this and a blue one i'm using two colors you'll be able to see the next stitch i attach and I'll be using a 4 millimeter size hook needle and some pins to be able to hook them in. The first stitch of our work will be with a yarn over my thread in my hand and I did the ring. So yarn over like this, pull it through. If you're doing it with the right hand, you just do a circle and you pull through. But if you're doing the left hand like me, you wrap it in your fingers and you pull through. And I'm going to do three chain stitch. One, two, three. That's the very first uh, stitch of the work. And I'll yarn over twice. I'll do two more stitches of threes. I'll leave this straight here. You will see, understand more at the end of the work. Is to be able to make... The end of the work look a bit puffy as if you're doing a puff stitch like that. If you see on each work, he has it there. So the three uh, stitches are joined together. So this is the second one. I'll do yarn over twice again. Put it back into the center. Pull through one. Pull through two. And I have three. At this stage of my work, I will yarn over and pull through all the three. Like that um to do stage two what I've done is basically done one of this like one of this one down here I'll need to do stage two it's like this connecting part and stage three to come back down so this is how you do the flower of life you walk your work up you go this way and you come back down you walk up this way you come back down so that's how you keep you going around in circles so let me show you one more time what I mean I'll do one two three there i will yarn over twice i will put my work in between this stitch because that's what i'm working my next stitch or uh, my next uh clusters or you can call it like a puff stitch one two when it's here we'll leave it we go down and we work another cluster we're working in groups of three so that should make it too big one two this side looks like and then we will yarn over and pull through all the three like this why come back again after the first break of having to do the first two sides of the work now and i will show you how to bring it down into the circle here yeah? What I mean bring it down to the circle is like this. I've done one and two. As you can see, it's one and two. So that's like this. We're going to do the third one coming down. So what I do, I yarn over my work. And I yarn over two times here. Yeah? I'll come back down to the center. Like that. Put the needle through. Pull through. Yarn over one. Yarn over two. And you can see the work is taking a folding shape so i will carry on doing this two more time to form the first petal of the flower the first side of the flower of life you can see you can make your work as loose as you want or as tight as you want and do please don't forget to subscribe on e-learning obsess for more videos of different things and also feel free to ask us what you want to be done in the next video if you can see I have four I pull through and I have three so yeah at this point now you can see I have done the first part of the flower or the flower of life which is this one one two three one two three this is how it is I will do one more time for you to see it again at this stage of your work you do you do the pep the pedal this one that's outward by doing one two three that's the first one yarn over you put through in between 
they walk down i forgot to do the double because i'm doing triple crochets so pull that yarn one two if you're struggling to understand the video you can just repeat the video one more time and you understand it more but i'm doing it slowly so you can see exactly what i'm doing you can see that's it the first three again so basically this is what i'm going to do for the next four more for the base of the work when i say four more it's here one two three four five six for this base of the work before going on to the next stage that's up like that so i've done the first one i need to go now down i'll do yarn over twice go down pull through one two so that's why i told you in the beginning your circle or the ring is not supposed to be tied or loose because as we're working you will see the circle is opening or it's expanding but do not worry when you finish you pull it up and stitch it in with a needle like that and there we go so this is the first petal one two three this is the second one i will carry on doing this more and i will join you at the end please do subscribe down for more video e-learning obsess thank you hello everyone welcome to the final stage of making the flower of life with your host angie hat 25 on e-learning obsess videos on youtube yeah you can see i have my six petals from one two three four five and i'm doing the sixth one as i showed you earlier on here that was one two three four five six so that's the base of the work this is how it looks like for six uh, uh, petals at the bottom and then i will show you how you keep on adding on the next stage so right now you can see i'm rounding up from the two earlier posts of videos you've seen where i started i do uh, yarn over twice and pull through and one more time so you do three petals of um three triple crochets of yarn over twice and pull through and then there the last one so you can see one two three four five six that's all one third the base but at this point you do not just join together you have to do one more external puzzle a petal like one two three yarn over twice put it there one two one more time yarn over twice put there one two so that's three now one two three yarn over pull through and then i will join it to the very first stitch of my work like that and i'll do a slip stitch so there we go this is our first stitch of flower of life crocheted by ng her 25 and this side looks at the back and you can pull at this point now you pull your ring to close out the circle and then we'll stitch it in with the needle this is how the front looks like tight as you can see, this is exactly like this one. It's tight. Completely. This is the base of the work that I pulled initially to close it through. So this is how a flower of life first stage looks like. Thanks for watching on e-learning upstairs. Don't forget to subscribe to see how to go up on the second stage of the flower of life. The second stage. Thank you so much. And see you on the next episode. Bye. Hello everyone, welcome to the final ending of the stage, the final stage of Flower of Life crochet pattern. And I'm yours, NGR25, and you can see this on e-learning obsessed on YouTube. So as you can see, I've done the second stage of a different color so you can best understand how it looks like. So that's stage two, this was stage one, and this is stage two. With stage two, I had two petals in each one. That's how it comes out with the spaces like this. But at this stage, I've done with three pulses in each one. And it's coming out like this. So I want to show you finally, finally, how you do at this page. You yarn over twice. You put through in there. 
we pull through one pull through two so i'm creating another uh, paddle or like a bridge to go over to the next step and there we go you get yeah after you've done this bridge you come down here and you do two you have another two so i'm doing like three puddles they come out looking like puff stitches but they're not puff stitches so i will do one more that's three and i pull through like this remember every time you do one of this stitch that looks like a puff stitch you do three you do one more of three up and you do the next one in let me explain what i'm doing one more time watch in one two three yarn over twice in here and i'll do one two yarn over twice in here one two and yarn over pull through all the three this is what i mean so when you do one like this you do one up and when i've done the one up i will do one two i'll come back into the same place like the beginning stitch i'll do one two yarn over two one two yarn over two one two and yarn over pull through three see what we just created the next one so i've done two of these and this is the next one so the very last one will be like this yarn over one two three don't forget to always do the one up before you one down so you do one outward and three downward one two yarn over two one two that's three yarn over pull through and i'll do one two back again into the space it's five puzzle or five rows section in one circle so five triple um six triple crochet in one place As you can see right now so this is what i mean you always do one outward three inward one outward so for me to join this place to the final one i need to do one outward and two inward to this final stage because we have just one to make it six so to do an outward i do one two three single chains yarn over twice put it in the center Yarn over one, yarn over two. One more time, yarn twice. Inward. Yarn over one, yarn over two. That's the first puddle. That's the outward one. Pull through. And I've yarn over twice. Instead of me coming back here, I'm going into this one because I'm going to join the work together. There. Yarn over one, two. One two, one two, one two, two, and I will do yarn over pull through three. If you see now, it's looking like this because we need to do one outward pedal to join it to have the next one starting here. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe on eLearning Obsessed for more videos. And your host was NGHAR25. Thank you. Bye.